After months of travel turbulence, it's every time I fly, I'm like, here we go again. This morning, millions of passengers are starting to see smoother skies. Across the country, flight cancellations and delays are finally down. Cancellations peaked back in June, with nearly 20% of all scheduled flights grounded. Now, just 2%. Delays are also dropping, just a third of what we saw last month. I was prepared for kind of anything, but it was um, it was very easy. It comes after major airlines like United, Delta and American all cut back on their number of flights. Many airlines took proactive measures earlier this summer to get ahead of things, cut back on schedules through to September, and in some cases, some carriers cutting back through the end of the year. And that's, I think, why we're seeing some improvements at the airport. Those three airlines, the country's largest carriers, also reporting profitability for the first time since the start of the pandemic. But those slashed schedules will likely stretch well beyond summer. We're going to be a smaller airline until the system can support it. For passengers, fewer flights mean fewer problems, but also fewer options. Our base assumption is, though, that it's going to gradually get better and we're not going to get back to normal utilization and normal staffing levels until next summer. Um, and so we're going to gradually improve. It's going to take to next summer to get there. As for buying tickets, those sky-high prices are also dropping. The average round-trip domestic flight, $336, down 9% from a month ago.